All right, so this kind of reminds me of my days at NASA, except we didn't fly off an aircraft carrier, which we're on now. Uh, we would come out to the airplane, and the canopies would be open already because the crew would get those ready, or crew meaning the guys who were helping us on the ground. And at NASA, we had these ladders so that we could climb in. If you, if you couldn't, uh, didn't have a ladder, sometimes we'd go to a base that was not, not a NASA base or not a military base that had these special ladders that they would hook. De deploy these steps, there are these little steps here that come out and you step on there and get inside the airplane. I would always go in the back. Uh, the pilot and commander I'd be flying with got in the front. Uh, we would set up our harness parachute, make sure the ejection seat was all good, and then we'd do a walk around the airplane. And you just look and see what's going on. Even if you just got out of the, say you did a stopover, you just got out of the airplane, for an hour or so to get a bite to eat. Now you're going back in and continue your mission. You would you would still check out everything. You didn't want to take any chances. So you would look in here and make sure the engine's clean and everything over here, the intake is good. And then we'd walk around the airplane, look here and check out, check out the gear, make sure nothing got up in there, everything was good, all the pins were good, all the screws were where they're supposed to be. You look at the brakes, which were not on this airplane because they took them off, but you look at the brakes and make sure they were in good shape. Give them a little test, make sure they're working. Check the control surfaces. You know, they move around a little bit here, make sure they're, they're movable. Uh, check, check that you have uh, a good amount of uh, hydraulic fluid. Control surface here, we call this the elevator, make sure that's movable. In this case, it actually is, so that's good, even though we're not gonna fly this airplane today. Look in the back here in the exhaust now, uh, make sure everything's clean and clear. You can see all the way through. Give the rudder a little shake. Make sure the elevator here is okay. Again, check out the hydraulic fluid over here and all the way around here. Everything looks good. Everything works. Everything's loose. Nothing's leaking. Check for leaks. And you get inside and go flying. So the point of having this airplane, you know, uh, to have this airplane was that uh, it allowed us to, uh, to train as a crew together. So flying in space uh, with your shuttle crew or with your space station crew, uh, which, which we're flying now, of course, uh, you, you work with your crewmates, you work systems, you work emergencies when they come up, you work different procedures, you have a mission to accomplish, and you're also working with a control tower, control, uh, control center on the ground, and it's simply you have a control tower when you're flying the airplane, you have to work together to, to, to maneuver the airplane, to navigate, to communicate with the ground. Uh, so it, it allows you to acquire the same skills that will be useful in space flight, you get to do that inside of the airplane. If you were a pilot in command, you had to fly uh, at, at least uh, 40 hours, 40 to 45 hours um, a quarter every three months. And if you were a backseater like I was, uh, had to fly a minimum of 12 hours a quarter. So uh, that's amazing. When you have a job that requires you to do things that you absolutely love, you know you got the right job. Uh, the most fun I ever had in T T-38 was we would do some aerobatic training, uh, again, to help us prepare to fly in space, doing loops and rolls and flying around clouds and it was just beautiful. Uh, enriched my life, it really did. It was an experience I never thought I would get a chance to have um, because I wasn't a military pilot. It wasn't, you know, I was a private pilot, but I never got to fly in an airplane like this. This is a military jet, but as an astronaut, I had a chance to fly in this airplane. And it just was so beautiful to see what we got to see and what we got to experience inside the airplane. Unlike space flight, which you only do every once in a while, every couple of years as an astronaut, you get to fly in a T-38 almost as much as you can. You know, we had a requirement for hours, but about once a week or so was how often we got to fly in those airplanes. Wonderful experience. I'm glad we have one here at Intrepid.